So now that we have uh, a good idea of what it means for a number to be uh, both in base 10 and a base other than 10, the next obvious thing to kind of ask ourselves is, well, can we do arithmetic with these numbers that are in other bases? And the answer to that is yes. And we're going to use a method that really follows the same kind of process that we use when we're adding base 10 numbers. So before we jump into doing this with different bases, let's take a step back here and really take a close look at how we add numbers in base 10. Since that, that process is, is the same process we're going to follow to add, uh, do any kind of arithmetic with other bases. So the first thing we do here, you know the procedure, right? First thing, we, we add the numbers in the far right-hand column. 8 plus 3 gives us 11, and 11 is problematic. I can't put 11 down here as part of my answer. The only numbers I'm allowed to write down here, kind of in the answer zone, are individual digits. That's the numbers from 0 to 9. So here, here's what we do, right? You know you carry the 1, but here's the reasoning behind that. 11 is 10 plus 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 1, right, that's, a, that's an individual unit, and I'm going to put that down here in the units column. Then I'm going to take this 110 that I have left over, and I'm going to, we say we carry it, right, but what I'm really doing is I'm adding, taking that 10 and putting it in the tens column, which is where it belongs. So now we do the process again, or with the middle row. 7 plus 3 plus 1 is 11. And I know we think of, we always think of that as 11, but remember, we're adding the numbers in the tens column. So this is really 70 plus 30 plus 10, which is 110. So now I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to take this 10, uh, excuse me, this 1 that's in the tens place. I'm going to put it in the tens column. And I'm going to take this 100 here, put that in the hundreds column where it belongs, and now add down again. And we get the final answer. So we're going to look at a, base, uh, a different base number here in a minute. And we're going to follow the same reasoning. When we get a number that's bigger than an allowed digit, I'm going to see if I can split it up the same way I split up 11 and 110 so that I can put, you know, the units number in the units column and it's not really going to be a 10 anymore, right? It's going to be a 6 or an 8, whatever the other base is, and put that in the next column. All right, so let's take a look. All right, take a look at an example, see how we can do that. Now, the first thing I'm going to do here is, for me at least, it's awkward to try to do this horizontally. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write the numbers. I'm going to make it 153 base 6 and 244 base 6. And I'm going to add these together. All right, so the first thing I want you to recognize here is we're working in base 6. That means the only acceptable numbers that I can write down here on my answer row are the numbers from 0 to to five, really the digits from zero to five. So, okay, let's see how this works. We're going to follow our usual process. Three plus four is seven. Now, I can't write a seven down there because a seven is too big, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split seven up the same way we split the 11 up, only now we're working base six. So instead of being something times 10, I want something times six. So seven is... 1, 6, plus 1. So this 1 is going to go down here in the units row, or column. And this leftover 6 to the first is going to go up in, uh, there really aren't good names for this. I'm just going to go ahead and call it the tens row, or the tens column, just because that's what we're used to. Now we add again. 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 plus the 1 that I carried is 10. Now again, 10 is too big. So what is 10? 10 is uh, 1 times 6 plus 4. So I'm going to take this individual 4, put it down here, and this 1 6 that I have left over, that's going to go up 
here. All right, and now we add. 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4, and 4 is, a, is an acceptable digit. So there's my result. Now, that's not quite it. You cannot forget. You cannot forget this last step. You have to put the base down here so it's clear that that is not a base 10 number. All right, so there's my answer, right? Uh, that, that's the sum of these two base 6 numbers. So now, um, go ahead, uh, pause the slides, right? Uh, see if you can take a look at this one, do this one on your own. Uh, then come back, start it up again, you see how I do it, and uh, you compare our answers. All right, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to write out the two numbers. I'm going to do this uh, vertically, 221 base 4 and 33 base 4. So let's add these up. Uh, 3 plus 1 is 4. That's too big. Remember, in base 4, the digits are 0 to 3. So let's see. 4 is equal to 1, 4 plus 0. And that's okay, right? 0 is an acceptable digit. So I'll put 0 down here and carry that 1. Now we do it again. 3 plus 2 is 5, plus 1 is 6, also too big. So let's see, 6 is 1, 4, plus 2. So the, the 2 goes down here in, again, the, for lack of a better name, the tens column. And this 1 gets carried. 1 plus 2 is 3, and this is all base 4. So there's my result, 320 base 4. All right, now, so let's try another example here. Uh, and this one, there, there's going to be a little extra twist to this, all right? So let's uh, just start with our usual process. Add down the first column. 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. Now remember, remember what my goal here is, all right? I wanted to have something times 5, because that's our base, plus whatever is left over. Now, if I put a 1 here, just, just hypothetically, I would have to put 1, and here I'd have to have a 6. And that's not going to work, because 6 is too big. Remember, in base 5, we have to stick to digits between 0 and 4. So that's okay. And look, let's, let's try this. 11 is 2 times 5 plus 1. All right, now that works. You see, 1 is okay. I'm going to take that 1. And I'm going to put it down here. And I'm going to take the two fives that were left over and carry them. All right, now we add again. 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 4 is 10, plus 2 is 12. And I have the same issue here, right? 12 is too big. So this is 2 times 5 plus 2. So the, the 2 here goes in the column I'm working on, and the two fives get carried. Two plus one plus one is four, and this is all base five. All right, so there's my final answer. Right there, There's how I would handle a situation with numbers uh, that are, are even bigger than the ones we saw before. All right, so let's uh, add one more example here. I will, we'll do a multiplication problem. And it's all going to be very familiar, hopefully, at this point. I have, whoops, I have 33 base 4 times 31 base 4. All right, so we're going to work this the same way, right? The same way we're familiar with. 3 times 1 is 3, and that's an acceptable digit. So I can put that down here for part of my result. Now, again, 3 times 1 is 3, so that part's okay. All right, now what? Let's see. Um, 3 times 3, that's 9. All right, 9 is not a base 4 digit. So I have to split this up. 9 is 2 4s plus 1. So the 1 goes down here. And the 2, uh, yeah, the 2 4s get carried. Now I do it again. 3 times 3 is uh, 9 plus 2 is 11. This is, let's see, 2 times 4 plus 3. So the 3 comes down here. The 2 
gets carried, and there's, there's kind of nothing left to do with it at this point, so I just bring that down with all the other numbers. Now we add them up. Bring down the 3, you put a 0 there if you like to see it. 3 plus 0 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. Now look, see here we have this dilemma again. Right? I can't put a 4 down here. So let's see, 4 is 1, 4 plus 0. So I'll bring down the 0, carry that 1 extra 4. And yeah, look, now it happens again, right? 1 plus 3 is 4. I can't put a 4. So I'll break that up the same way. Bring down a 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. And this is all base 4. Right, so there's my final result. And right? this, this is now you, you, hopefully you, you're kind of getting the hang of it, kind of get the idea. Uh, we've with several examples of how you add numbers in different bases.